Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing this Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer. So I have my notebook with me. I've jotted down some points, so I'm just gonna get started right away. So the one that I have is the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer with the fuchsia color, and this retails for $499. Just a little small disclaimer or a factor on this review is that if you guys don't know, I am in design and interior design to be specific. So I was able to get an industry discount on this, which I ended up paying about 300 to 350 dollars i don't remember somewhere along the lines of that so just so you know that my review on this i'm going to try to think that i did pay 500 dollars even though 300 dollars for this hair dryer is quite a bit if you guys do want to watch a little bit more in depth of me unboxing this and showing all the pieces and everything and even testing out the hair dryer on the different settings go watch my unboxing video that will probably help for those of you who are planning to get this as well so i'm gonna start right away with the pros for me this really sped up my routine normally with my old like eight year old hair dryer it took me 15 to 20 minutes to dry my hair and i had to take breaks in between because of how thick my hair is and i ended up just like overheating myself and sweating right after a shower so that was really annoying but with this Dyson hair dryer I found myself finished blow drying my hair within 8 to 10 minutes on average which basically for me it saved up so much time and I like to shower at night. One thing that I also love about this is the plug. It is a really good size and it's so ergonomic for you to pull out and even like put in as well. It's just heavy duty salon grade. You know that everyday use of this, you're not going to damage this at all and it's gonna last you quite a bit. So that's one thing that I think is a really big pro. Another pro that is a huge one to me is that because I have super thick hair with my old hair dryer, I had a really long time blow drying my roots like this under part and just really close to my scalp because of how thick my hair is. But because of how strong this is, it's able to dry my scalp and the roots of my head even at the back and at the bottom a lot quicker and easier. Another pro you would know if you went on the website and just checked this out. There are two settings here. One is the fan and one is the heat. So basically you can kind of like mix and match of what you want like a faster fan with the lowest setting heat or the highest setting heat with the lowest fan and the buttons are also really easy to use it's one of those things where you can just you know hold it with the hand that you are blow drying and then just reach up and do this it's really easy too for sure like my hand is probably like pretty small or average sized so just holding it like this and being able to do that is so ergonomic and easy with my old ones i had to like you know turn it around and then change the settings here and then you have the wind and the heat blowing to your face so that's one thing that's really good when you're just about finished you can turn the fan down and then just continue with what you're doing another pro for me is maintenance and cleaning the dust that comes from this hair dryer all you have to do and it's super easy is to just turn this and then pull it down it's not going to go anywhere because of the cord and you can see a little bit of the dust on there and all you have to do is just grab a little tissue or a damp cloth and just kind of clean that off the other ones you know it's at the back you have to like turn it somehow and then take it off and then clean it and then put it back on and if you guys have long hair you will know that that area sometimes when you're blow drying your hair and you somehow turn it your hair can like get stuck and you know completely get tangled inside so your hair doesn't get stuck because this is all the way down here and you don't really feel the wind all the power is really just up here so I haven't had any issues with my hair tangling, getting caught or anything like that at all. Another pro to me is that it comes with a bunch of pieces when you do get this. So if you guys did see my unboxing, you will know. It comes with this diffuser, these two flat extensions. So one is a little bit more narrow and detailed. This mat, so there's texture here and it's flat on this side for your hair dryer or the parts, whatever you want to use it for. And if you guys do order online, you guys can somehow get like one item for free or an extension for free or a comb and this is the gentle air extension so instead of a very direct like air source it kind of disperses it to be a lot more like gentle and light and kind of spread out rather than a direct source of heat and power so i have about two more pros to list and then i'm going to go into the cons so the second last pro is that after using this with the highest setting heat and fan and let's say 10 minutes of blow drying my hair my hair actually doesn't feel as dry, coarse, and you know, all that kind of stuff versus when I used my old hair dryer, it was definitely a lot drier. 
and given that i think it's also because of the time now that i'm using this for about eight to ten minutes my other one was 15 to 20 minutes so that is a lot of dry hot air that is exposed to the hair now i also don't do any like hair treatments or anything for heat when it comes to blow drying my hair but for sure my hair is less dry and coarse so the last pro of course is its beautiful minimal design and also if you guys do catch up with dyson or you know get those deals here and there they do have different colors for different occasions recently um this year they did a very beautiful red one for lunar new year i believe they have like a gold one and a blue one and basically different colors so i really do think that this is super sleek it's not bulky at all um the other hair dryers can like extend to up to here and personally i just really do think that this is super easy to use and it's beautiful everything is magnetic so i think it really speeds up everything and they really thought about this design and i think they did a beautiful job with it just the overall look to it however as beautifully this dyson hair dryer is there are some cons to this and i want to get started on that now based on these cons it's going to be my personal experience so first of all i am five foot three if you don't know and this cord is pretty long and the thing is after i plug this into the wall and i'm blow drying my hair when i was first using this um the wire was kind of hitting the floor every time i went like that and because of how loud this is i kept feeling like thumping on the floor and i thought someone was walking outside in the hallway and the other days this wire was hitting the top of my toe continuously when i was using this of course i can like you know untangle it move it but either way because i am pretty short i found that this was either hitting my legs or like hitting the cabinet and the floor and making a thumping noise so it's not like a deal breaker but it's just something that i wanted to point out based on my daily use of this hair dryer now the other con that actually bothers me that happens every time is this block because of how it's located if it was higher or lower then it wouldn't be a problem but every time you plug this into the wall this cube will hit the countertop and it's literally at the edge or close to the edge so if you have anything sitting on your countertop that is near the outlet this is gonna knock it off <laughs> so you have to have like a very clean countertop especially under your outlet so personally i think this could have been somewhere else now i'm not an expert in like electrical stuff so i don't know if the placement of this has something to do with converting anything so if it could have been moved elsewhere, then that is something that I would have preferred. If it was just like where this tag is, then it would have made a big difference. It wouldn't be necessarily hitting the side of the counter, in my opinion. Another con, which is probably the first for everybody, is the price. $500 for a hair dryer is a lot. And I want to say for a $500 hair dryer, I know it does come with these pieces like I mentioned, like the mats and the extensions, but I would have expected a case or a bag, like a velvet bag to store all of these things and, you know, kind of it to come as a packaged set where you can store everything beautifully. Right now I have everything in a bin, so I don't really, you know, it looks pretty bad for something that is this luxurious. I know there are stands that you can get for this, but then again, for the price for $500, it would have been nice to have something to hold all these beautiful pieces. Like I said, this is just rolled up and tucked away in one of my bins that I have everything and all the pieces together. Another con for this is that it heats up. Now I'm not gonna like hate it or say that it's a deal breaker also because it's a hair dryer, it's high power, it's going to get warm. But for me, one thing is that when i'm holding this because of how sleek it is and i don't know the shape of my hand for me when i use it it ends up falling like that and i just go like this to blow dry my hair i'm no longer like holding it like this or this sometimes i'm just basically letting it lean on my hand and the thing is that it heats up down here within 10 minutes of using it so basically by the end or near the end it's for sure going to get hot here now it doesn't burn but it's quite warm and sometimes when i blow dry my hair because of that my hand can feel how hot this is over here of course that's just something i personally do you should be holding here but 
for me it ends up going like that so just a little note that it does get hot down here another con um based on the handle as well is that for me i have i guess an average hand i'm five foot three so i guess to scale the length from here to here for me if not perfect it just fits so if you have bigger hands for sure you're gonna go over the buttons and for me already sometimes i accidentally hit that cool button it's not a big deal because it's not like burning hot but i realize that the heat gets a little bit cooler and then i realize that i'm pushing on the button especially when i'm going like this and my finger covers that and it ends up pushing on it and i don't realize so if i hold it lower I can start feeling the texture of this so i don't know for me i end up using it like this especially for like other parts you can see that my finger goes over that button and then it kind of gets cold and then i have to be a little bit more aware and then that's why i end up just sliding my hand up here but then i feel the heat there so for me that is just a little bit of a note that i wanted to share in terms of a con but of course everybody probably holds this and uses this differently for me, that is just something that I noticed. Um, I don't hit this button, I just hit the cool button. So it's not terrible, but when I start feeling the air get a little bit cooler, I kind of readjust how I'm holding this to make it fit better. So that is pretty much it for all the pros and the cons. I feel like I didn't go too in depth. I just wanted to share my experience on how this has affected me personally and whether I think it's worth the money. So I do have a couple of notes to wrap up this video. If you guys would like to hear, definitely keep watching. And the first one that I want to mention is that these come out in different colors for special occasions. I don't know, sometimes they come up with new ones like a gold one and a red one. So if you guys aren't in a rush, I would just wait. I feel like these are going to be here for a while and if you guys don't particularly like the color or sometimes they have special edition sets where a case comes with it and you get all these other things for practically the same price if not maybe like $50 more. I think that's super worth it if you're not in a rush because for $500 this doesn't have a case, a bag or anything like other accessories to hold all these other accessories. I guess it's kind of a little bit disappointing for a $500 product. So that is just my tip for this, I guess, is if you guys want to wait, just wait. I feel like something else is gonna come and you can get a whole bundle and get your money's worth. In addition, you guys can get this secondhand, but also like unopened box. My friend was able to get hers unopened, like with the film on it still for a discount at the same price that I did, which was 300 to $350, which is pretty good. But the only difference is that if you buy on Dyson's website, you get like that free item. Like I said, it could be a comb, an extension or something like that. So I got this gentle flow extension, which my friend doesn't have. So it's kind of like the give or take. You either pay full price with the extension or you can buy a pre-loved or a secondhand, an open box for at a discount, but you don't get this. And this is not really like a necessary need, I would say. Like the hairdryer itself is very good already. And another thing that I wanted to note is that if you guys are planning to get this, definitely use like a credit card that has some kind of cashback or points system or even online and double that and stack as much as possible so that you can get whatever back, like whether it's travel points, cashback, or anything else that you can use towards, I don't know, shopping again. Because this is a $500 hair dryer, I think it's definitely best to make good use of anything that you can get back in return. In regards to each part, I honestly haven't been using it. Like, I'm not a hairstylist. I don't do my hair. I don't do anything special to it. I literally just blow dry it and brush it and it's just straight the way it is. Um, I did try to use this one, I think and it did work like i had it really close and i had a styling brush and i curled the ends and it was a nice loose wave it didn't take too long to do it but of course it depends on how thick your hair is and the brush you have um i did use this a gentle one all it did was just disperse the heat and the power which was nice but again i didn't really use this um the mat i did use but i really don't use it that much because i just blow dry my hair for 10 minutes so for me there's no need to take it out if I was styling my hair and it was gonna take half an hour, I would probably use the mat. And in regards to the diffuser, I don't have natural curly hair. So my friend does have curly hair and after she used hers, she sent me a photo and I personally thought it looked really nice. 
it definitely made a difference versus just a regular hair dryer. So yeah, I don't really have much to say on each individual piece other than the actual hair dryer itself for everyday use. So that is it for this Dyson hair dryer review. Like I said, if you guys want to see a little bit more in-depth unboxing video of each part and me testing out these settings, definitely watch my unboxing video. I guess it's also a good first impressions if you guys haven't seen this in person. I was definitely impressed by the power of this. And yeah, would I recommend this? Now the thing is for me, I upgraded from like an eight, 10 year old hair dryer. And in comparison, this made the biggest difference. So yes, I would recommend it. However, there are other alternatives that are not $500 that I feel like can almost do, if not the same as close to what this one does. Of course, it's not the same. There are like, you know, other parts. This is a salon grade. So I personally think it's up to you if you guys want to invest in this. Personally, for me, this is an investment because this has saved so much time for me. So this is the time is money item for me and I'm so happy I have this. All I can say is that now that I have this, I can't even use my older one. I was going to test out and time myself from my old one and this new one, but I didn't even want to reach for my old one. But overall, for me, yes, I would recommend this. So if you guys do have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. My pros and cons are basically just based off of my personal experience, so I didn't dabble too much into it. But of course, definitely let me know if you guys have any questions or also share with me your personal experience, whether you guys love this product or regret buying it. So thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, as always, if you guys are new to my channel, it would mean so much to me if you guys would hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video.